Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's April the 22nd, 2022. I did a video for Plug Power on April the 20th. Here it is two days later and we got the answer. Yeah, we got the answer that Plug Power may actually crash in the market. So I want to give everyone a heads up as to what we're going to expect now, seeing that our expectations didn't come to fruition. When it happens, you know you need to come in, revamp or revise what your original idea was going to be. And in this situation, you guys can see it. I was looking for the price and plug power to go up. We saw that confirmation two days ago, but yet and still, the sellers are dominating this stock market right now for plug power. So I gotta come in and give you all the rightful information. When things change, you need to change right alongside with the market in order to one, minimize losses, and two, to increase your bag. So check this out. Y'all appreciate my videos, my content. I give it to you all real and raw. I'm not here to make, you know, a lot of people happy, tickle your ears. I'm here to show you how to play this game so that you don't have to be emotional, so that you can actually dictate and say, okay, cool, this is what they're trying to do. This is where they're trying to take the price. You have to see all sides of the market in order to be profitable without being fearful, greedy, or even scared. The price chart gives us that play, the playbook. We just got to pay attention to it and run the play. So if you guys want to join me, hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe here to my channel. Tap that bell notification as well, because you will begin to learn for yourself that this is simple and easy. Just don't let people come in and clog your mentality. Because when you let a lot of people into your mind, you begin to become confused. And when you're confused, you're nervous. And when you're nervous, you become fidgety and you're not necessarily sure whether or not I need to hit the buy button or the sell button. The chart tells us what we need to be hitting. And in this situation now, I'm going to show you that we need to be hitting the sell button in plug power. All right. So let's go ahead and talk. Like I said, I did a video two days ago because of the volume that came in. Right. We saw the volume come in two days ago with the market and plug power closing higher than the previous couple of trading days. Now, when you see the result, OK, those two days since then, the result should have been for price to be going up. But instead, look what happened. So why are we being emotional? The buyers did not come through. They left. They exit stage right. They're gone because if the buyers really were here on April the 19th, they should have followed through on April the 20th at least. But the price and plug power came right back down almost to the low of the 19th of April. And then look at what happened yesterday. The market was down 14 percent. So, OK, cool. What is there to be nervous about? Every price prediction you're, you're going to lay down is not going to be right. But it happens. But all is not lost. It just tells you what you need to be doing. What we need to be doing is playing in weakness. We need to be right in the market with the sellers. If the sellers want to lower the price, if the sellers are winning in the market right now, we want to be on the winning team, right? This is the team we need to be on because obviously the buyers aren't here. So why are we going to come through and buy a stock that nobody else is trying to buy to where the majority of the market orders are sell orders? And we should not be surprised. Like I told you even two days ago that this was the first stage for us to know that the sellers were here. I knew that it was just the risk of us possibly expecting the buyers to really blow that area out and they couldn't even bring price higher following the 19th. So check this out. Yeah, we didn't get this right. So if we were to get out on the close yesterday, we would be down around 25 percent. Is that's a lot better than what we can see going into the future, especially if we're still looking for the price to go down. This is why you want to come through and learn how to cut the play and say, yeah, I didn't get this one right. Let me get back in position and try again. So let's see this. Let's get rid of that. So now we know buyers aren't here. Sellers are controlling the market right now in plug power. So I'm zooming out and I want us all to try to see, OK, where can price go then? How low can we see the market in plug power go? If the buyers are not controlling the yard. Given what happened yesterday. Okay. 
the first area it's going to be right here around $21 and like 40 cents that's the first area now this confirm that we're still in a pretty good downtrend in plug power right here the market couldn't break back up above this long-term trend so generally this market is still massively weak so what we're going to do since we're not in an upward trend we know sellers are controlling the yard then guess what we're going to make sure that they continue to do just that so we're going to follow the market going down and plug power yes this is what we're going to do all right so look at this plug power on the two day okay that's a very very wide spread bar right here okay very very wide which kind of resembles that yeah the price may not even hold $21.40 or 45 cents looking at this on a two-day perspective what about on the three-day this is a very weak market in plug power we may actually see instead of seeing the price come to $21.45 or so the biggest area could be here again seeing this market buyers try to prop up price right around here 18 19 dollars okay now let's see though five day time frame still looks weak the weekly time frame here it is we got eight hours and 46 minutes left and the current weekly price bars that we've got accustomed to look at this one right these three weekly price bars is in Indicative of definitely sellers running the yard. Sellers are dominating the market right now in plug power. Over the last three weeks, this this price chart is literally showing us that right now. All of these three weekly price bars that we're looking at right now, the last three, the buyers had opportunity to move price up, but they couldn't keep it. They lost control and price closed on the low of the bar. That means that the market is weak. Two weeks. Look at this. Two consecutive bars look almost identical. Look at this. They look almost identical. That tells you something. That the bars aren't here. <laughs> the bars are not here. Three weeks. I think you guys can get the picture. I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm just showing the price chart as to what has already occurred we don't want to see this if we're looking for price to go up and when you continue to see weakness yeah you want to cut the play of you trying to be long of you trying to see price go up because this market is weak so we're going to do just that play the weakness so let me go ahead and drop the price prediction real quick we're going to run this to June time frame. The first price target, like I said, is, is relatively close, right? We understand that generally the market is giving us some weakness. $21.45 is the first spot that gives us six and a quarter percent. Okay. The restriction area is around $27.50 or up here to this ascending line. Okay. $30. So we got $21.45 first. My second target. It's going to be around 20, which gives us 12.46%. All the way down here to 1850. 19.37. Okay. Now, since we're anticipating the price to come down in plug power. We need to anticipate price breaking this in the long term. So be on the lookout for that in the long term, though. So this is it. We're in position. We're looking forward to price and plug power to go down. I've given you, what, three price targets. Now is your turn. The comment section is open. Drop your price target, your price prediction into the market and plug power where you think the market is headed. And we'll see which one is right. All right. Make sure you maintain the profitability, as I always say, and trade different.